Okay, so, um, just a little preface to the video. Uh, unfortunately, this didn't run as long as I wanted. Um, yeah, uh, I set my voltage, low voltage alarm at like 12 points or 11.9 or 12 volts or something. I'm not sure it's entirely. Uh, my low voltage alarm is now wet, um, which is annoying. Uh, and it's reading as a four cell, so I flushed it out with uh, rubbing alcohol, 99% and whatnot. Um, yeah, so I only had five minutes of run time or even like four minutes of it running. Um, water is going to have a lot more drag and it's going to use more power. Um, there were also basically a couple instances, which I'll cut out where... One time I just, I nicked, um, hang on, here we go. Basically, I, I bumped this thing coming back, and then it pulled water in underneath or something through the skirt. Emptied that out, and it ran fine for a couple more minutes after that. Uh, and then, just before the video ends, um, here, we'll do behind the scenes. Um, yeah, so it ended up, um, I was... I don't know why, but basically it nose down and yeah, and it just died. So um, it's, it seems to be still good though. The electronics are in a waterproof thing. I think the the battery voltage was just too low to run all three fans, and they deflated and then nosed in. So I've got to set my low voltage alarm to be a lot more aggressive. This also means on water I'm only going to get a few minutes of runtime or. You know, I mean, well, I'm not sure how long entirely, uh, but the battery was fully charged. When I got back home, uh, I was at 12.2 volts, so I'm probably going to set my low voltage alarm somewhere around that, even though I know it will have recovered. And I'll just have to be more cautious on water, but I'm really happy with the performance. I'm happy with how fast it went. Um, it was I was getting up to speed that I didn't think it would, honestly. Uh, and I was, I was going to do a long run like this. I was hoping to see how fast I could get it going totally, and then I was going to go back up and around, but, um, unfortunately that just didn't work out. Uh, but yeah, we'll cut to the footage now. Uh, there'll probably be some annoying Christmas music in the background, so if the YouTube copyright strikes this the first time, I'm going to take it down and, uh, just add some other stuff on top of it. Uh, but yeah, all in all, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, should be fine after it all dries out. Uh, I'm a little worried about the lithium battery being damp <laughs> um, since it went all the way underwater, but it, seemed, it should be fine. Um, so yeah, uh, hopefully you guys like this video. Uh, now on to the actual part that you came to see. Just another little end bit on here. Um, so I just hooked it up back up to test it out, and unfortunately the lift motor seems to be dead. Uh, and when I opened it up, and still currently there's a real strong burning smell, and the motor sm uh, feels a little rough when you spin it by hand. Uh, so I think that the lift motor actually just burned out. Um, I guess that kind of makes sense, because it's, it's, you know, running 100% of the time. Uh, and I guess with the extra drag and stuff. Or maybe from getting dunked under. Although, actually, looking in here, I don't see any signs of moisture at all. Um, so the waterproofing seems to have held, so it's not like water got in here. But, um, yeah, unfortunately, it looks like uh, just the brush motor was not up for the task. Um, and the ones on the rear fans were pretty warm as well. So it looks like maybe I do need to upgrade this thing to brushless, uh, at least for the lift motor. Um, which means different ESCs and stuff that take up more room or trying to find motors that are rated better. I'm not sure. Um, so I'm not going to like suspend this. I'm still going to call the project pretty much completed. Uh, and I'll just do a video later on. Um at some point, but right now, just the cost of getting brushless motors and also trying to find the right size and everything is going to be a pain in the ass, so I think we'll go ahead and call this a success for now, and maybe I can get that working, or maybe I can find another motor to swap that out. Um, you know, uh, disappointing, but I guess that's just sort of how things go. But, you know, I'm still glad that it worked for a bit. Uh, better than nothing.
Okay.